Hey everyone, welcome to your Wednesday. I'm recording this the day before, and I'm all out of whack because I thought today, which is Tuesday for me, which is yesterday for you, was Wednesday, which is today for you, and tomorrow for me. I had a very tough time this day figuring out what I was going to do. This feels like a resort bus in a part of the world I'm never going to guess. Is it princesshotelsandresorts.com? Yeah, that says transport, oh, dot .mx. I think that says dot .mx. So we are clearly in Russia. And uh, I should start looking at this stuff so I can understand. This is Spanish. We've got, I know it's baseball. Um... That's all I can gather from this. But anyway, I feel like the sand that's around the road here is beach-like, which makes me feel we're on the coast of some sort, either this side or this side. I'm just going to click this side for now. How was your Wednesday and previous days to when I'm recording this go? Just answer to yourself. You don't have to tell me. It's fine. Unless you want to put it in a comment below, because I'm a desperate person in need of attention, and I hope you can give it to me. Um, we have an old man here who likes ducks. Unless I says center, not senior. You could have fooled me. Hello, bike man. What do we What do we got in your bike? Nothing. It's a fancy-ass bike. I wonder where he's biking to, just because... What the hell is this? Okay, this, again, I know this is Mexico. I should be taking the time to actually looking at this stuff so I can be like next time I see Mexico or this I'll know it's Mexico but I don't know what it is with me but it feels like there's a certain point when things I'm learning things listening to podcasts or telling me things none of it's being retained which frustrates me because I want we've got this seems to be a popular bike around here I want to learn things but my brain is not doing a very good job of retaining anything I'm talking about, just general concepts at this point, where I'm like, podcast listening today was um, some sort of series that Radiolab is doing on reproductive system or something like that in humans, and they were talking about the development of gonad, which apparently is a thing way in its super, like, primordial stage. is basically the same thing in the cells where, like, they're developed by these primordial genes or like primitive germ cells, something like that, that start in the, like, I guess it starts with an A. Again, this is my brain just not working anymore. It starts with an A in a, like the trash bag of the embryo where like, oh, we have garbage. I have nowhere to put it. It goes here. And the germs start there. And apparently as the cell is like reproducing it's been fertilized it's going through its cell division process these germs come from the trash bait landfill and crawl their way all the way into the cell i gotta make a guess here this is gonna be a bad score regardless um i'll say here because honestly i have no idea we might see road sign at the end here but it's too late for me to have the speed to move my hands to find the actual mileage, but I'm not finding anything. So, uh, switching it around. We could potentially be in this. I don't know. I'm going to be mad whatever the score is because I'm going to get the country right, but yep, I'm not going to get anywhere near it. No points. Nothing deserved there. Hello, America. Birmingham, Alabama. We're going with that. Anyway, there are 40 like primitive ge germ genes, germ things, whatever you want to call it. This is Birmingham, Vincent. Let's just take a quick look. I don't see anything yet. I'm just going to click there for now and then go from there. That they go directly into the, oh, this is super helpful now. They go directly into the, uh, the, the thing, embryo, I guess you call it. Developing, there's 280. West and East. There's Vincent. 
Uh, we got the intersection of 25, 231. Um, we got 25. We're on 231 right now. And the 280. Yeah, I think we've nailed it so much that I think I'm going to start looking for. Um, let's hit right here and look for Harperville Family Medicine. Is it over here? No. What is this? This is a church. They potentially could have churches. The ability to lie is liability. Sometimes they got some funny one-liners here, but I'm not seeing it this time. Anyway, you have to excuse me. I'm, I'm going to get through this. I don't see a city pall anywhere here. I feel I've nailed this, though. I'm going to just click here and give me my 4,000 sub points. Anyway, these 40 gene, uh, germ gene, whatever they're called. I'm not a smart man. I can't think of the name. That's a weird place to put a baseball field, but. Harpersville Town. Yeah, this is the town. All right. Okay, so this is. Where did it go? Where did it go? Town Hall. Harpersville Town Hall. City Hall's right there. We were here. Let me hit home. I want to know specifically where we are. Okay, so that is the library. Yes, we are directly in front of the library. Fire department, Baptist church, library. We're right here. So I see it's it's a thing. I don't know where they come from. They're still learning these things. Again, maybe they told us and I'm just not remembering. But they go into the cell and while these all the cells are being like, "Hey, you sell over there, you go make the gut. That sell over there, you make eyeballs. That they just push right through. It takes like, I guess, seven whole days, either within the cell or from the embryo, embryonic trash bag to the place it needs to go. And the place it goes is like the progenitor. I'm going to start using fancy words so it even seems more like I know what I'm talking about of what the ovaries or testicles will be. The gonads, I guess they call it at that point. And depending on whether or not you become a male or a female, depends on what these germs do. So the cells within the little area that they go to, when you become a male, they like sequester them off and they don't actually get activated until they get to puberty. And with the, if you turn out to be a girl, what they do is they just rapidly make every single egg you're going to make in your entire life right then and there, way before you're even aware that you are pregnant and that every single egg you're ever going to have for your entire life is made then. I don't know the actual like time period between when it starts and when it ends, but you won't make any more after that point. And it's weird to think because if you ever know about Tribbles and the thing that they have with uh, uh, Star Trek where they're like born pregnant, all they do is just make millions and millions of babies. That's like the thing. Even if you don't know much about Star Trek, it's it was like their... I guess, like, one of the more memorable, weird little animals. You had you had Klingons, you had Ferengis. Break the drive. I thought they said break the slave, stay the drive. Break the drive, stay alive. 22 kilometers on the left. So what country is this? I didn't want to come to this rest area. You're... you're you're preventing me from getting very valuable... Valuable vin ver vin. God damn it. All right, this is just going to say more stuff. More in Dillo Road. All right, these cars, yep, they're on the British side. So I knew this was South Africa or this was Australia. I don't know. Well, we're going to know right now. So this is Australia. Okay. Now, again, of where exactly you got me. But one of the things they did, the pause of the story is like the, the host of the show started doing a little anecdote thing. And it was kind of like stoner talk, I think, about when they like... If you think about it, it's blah, blah, blah. And what they did is saying, like, well, technically, when you're being born, you already have your grandkids inside you, or at least half of it, because that's how reproduction works, is you get 50% from one, 50% from the other. And it's like you're born, but you've got all of your future inside of you before you're, like, anything other than just rapidly dividing cells. It's crazy. Weird stuff. Isn't that wild? But, <clears throat> excuse me. Again, I would feel 
way more confident and smart if I actually knew the words or remembered anything past like general concept where I could just come along and ruin your party conversation with weird reproductive talk or facts about serial killers. I have bad hobbies that are hard to share at parties. I've noticed that. Dingo. Well, way to be a stereotype. How far do I go? I don't think I'm going to find Dingo anywhere here. It'd be hilarious if I do, but I'm feeling like this is... I'm going to get the country right, but I am not going to get anything past that. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to click here and hope to find something else that'll tell me anything. Because of all the places I've had in Australia, it's been like 70% East Coast. Um, 20% South Coast and maybe like two guesses actually on near Perth. Give me anything, please. Highway sign. Here we go. Emerald and Dwaringa. So we've got the A1. I got a minute to find this. Okay. That's the 94? Or is that... No, that's... Yeah, 94. I need A4. All right, let's... That's the one. That does not help. 95. Okay, that's the one. A6. So we're over in this area. I'm going to click here so I don't forget. A6, A6, A2, A4. Here we go. Emerald is that way. So to get to A... We're on the A4 now. Dingo is here. Dwaringa was that way. Alright, so we're coming to the intersection here. Um, Emerald is to the left. Dwaringa is that way. So we were like here, I think. Am I gonna like stumble on this super hard? Thank you, one sign in the entire goddamn country. Yeah, that's a good stumble. Four stars, I gave it to that. Even though I lied, and oh boy. We're back to this. Hello, Midwest. Nothing. I'm going to hope to find a sign on the side of the road. I should be going the other direction, but I'm not. Alright. This is this could be Canada, and this could be the Midwest. I don't know where. I always feel weird, like, thinking about this again. I'm always, person like, internalizing things when I'm saying, like, I could never live here because, number one, I didn't grow up here and there's nothing of interest. I came close to growing up near something like this when I was younger. We had farmland, but it may not have been the huge swaths that most of the country is known for in Canada or uh, the Midwest. And I'm just like, what do you do? For fun. There's a reason I left. And one of them was just because I was bored as hell. There wasn't anything to do. One of the things we did for fun was let's drive around. Okay, we're done driving around. Now what? Um, I don't know. Let's go find someone to buy us alcohol. That was the sum of it. And then some people were like, all right, I'm bored driving around and potentially crashing my car into things. Let's do Coke. That was that's a quite of a jump, but some people did that. And you wonder, like, how did how do drugs get so prevalent in certain places? It's just because you're, like, bored, you have nothing to do, you want to have fun. You can't have fun. We're not going down that road. It's just, like, gotta save off the boredom with something. I mean, what can you do? All right, let's drive around the cornfield. Great. All right, let's play hide-and-seek. What, are we five? No. But then there's some people who are like, this is perfect. I love this. I'm going to hang out in my purple house and uh, be me. And I just remember this story when I was a little kid. Uh, I hope I'm going to find something to help me figure out where the hell we are. When I was a little kid, okay, that says... That's 40 miles an hour, I assume. So this feels like it's going to be the U.S. now. I just need... Oh, oh wait, never mind. That's a Canadian. Oh, we're on. I've never seen that root symbol sign before. I am concerned. We got pine trees. Pine trees can happen in the southeast. I'm going to tentatively select this part. Um, 
like here. It's going to be a bad score. So it's either going to be there or the exact opposite side of the country. But uh, I would always have to go with my dad, kind of branching off of what I was talking about last time with hunting, and this time it was uh, in the winter once deer season and every other hunting season was done. I would have to go with the ice fishing. And ice fishing to them, to the most of the people I went with, they were all my da older dad's friends. None of them had their kids with them because they were doing this to get away from their family and have fun. And I think I was pawned off on my dad just because my mom wanted me out of the house. So one of the guys that we would go hunting, uh, ice fishing with, I, I have no idea what that... This, this is concerning because I feel like it's going to like pull a fast one and say, no, this is Alaska. I'm going to be mad. My water, this doesn't help me. I need... I need something. Please, get me farther down the road. Thank you. I've had two good guesses in a row, and this is going to just ruin it for me now. Is this Louisiana? And I've got the wrong state. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna click, like, farther down here. Yeah, see, I had nothing. Fine. Okay, we've got a bus. Construction. We're stuck between two buses. I'm ho I'm gonna back up a bit to see if I can't get around this this bus. Give me give me ooh 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 ooh. Here we go. Future. Oh god, is this Brazil? Can't tell. I don't think we're gonna get around this bus anytime soon. This truck isn't going to help. Nope. All right, let's hit home and go up the hill. Give me. I don't know if I'm going to catch up to this bus. It's going pretty fast. Look around. Elise Casanova. What is this? You got some guards here. This feels like a border, but it's... It's, it's either where they manufacture... It's not a Volvo. Is that a Zuzu? It's like a one of the Central American, potentially Mexico, but I don't think it is Mexico. Car manufacturing locations, and this is where they leave the cars until they're being shipped off to wherever they need to go. And I, these the, the cars are just perfectly spaced, where I can't make anything out on them. Barranca, is this Brazil? Give me. Sierra, I don't know. Sarah Dor, ugh. Um, what we've got? www. I think this is .br. And then this weird Alpine designed gate. What the hell is this place? It's just this like innocuous sign. This fancy thing, and there's just industrial chain fence thing in the back. It's just a weird dissonance that a lot of companies do. Is like, oh, this is a pleasant front-facing thing, but if you take two seconds and look past it, you see industry. Where does this come from? Why is the water this color? I'm sure it's fine. It's in the road. It's not our problem anymore. So this truck is going to tell me nothing. Other than I'm, I'm gonna stick with Brazil. Another massive country. I'm not gonna get the location. This is it's like a side of a mountain. They slap together like their industrial park. Almost like a backdrop of Jurassic Park here. And now we're at the end of the road. Where did that bus go? Has so many questions. What what do we do here? Oh, this is Israel Ostroweki. What is it? Is, is it? Is this your uniforms? Is that a jetpack? No. Got my hopes up. Well, this is the end of the road. Where the fuck that bus go? Well, let's hit home and go the other way. 
Ah, uh, this is gonna be such a bad score. Again. I got the country, but fuck if I know where this is. Let's see Sacramento. Twenty seconds. God. Get me up the road. Come on. The last guess. I never finished my shanty anecdote, and I'm sure it was real important. I'm just flustered and flabbergasted as to where this is. I hope I got the country right. Okay, I did. Ah, uh, three stars. Wow. I felt real confident about this one. And then I just... Bleh. How did they only end up with this many points? It felt like I did better than this. Like, I nailed that one. I had one nailed. Then fucking garbage, and then... Like, two amazings, and then... Three apparent questionable choices here, but... That's the game. Anyway, folks, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell me, give me tips, because anything to help me narrow this stuff down a little bit better than what I got, I'd love to hear from you. But for everyone here, hope you're going to have a good middle of your week. I hope you survive to the end of the week, where we'll see you again for another amazing episode of SMGU Guesser. We'll see you then.